Hey guys, it's Mr. Doctor here at Fairdale High School. We're super excited for you guys to be part of our school this year. Uh, welcome your incoming freshman class. Uh, we wanted to give you a couple quick tips for success this year, especially since it's starting out on a very weird note. Uh, so we'll go over those with you real quick. Uh, the first is that there are some new rules for this NTI 2.0 that the district's rolling out. Uh, you do have to work outside of life class time. So it's not just the times of days where we're meeting online. Uh, you do have to work outside of that. You must attend those live sessions. It's a requirement. That's how we're taking attendance on you guys. So even though you only have class for those, you know, two days a week, you still get your attendance based on whether or not you show up to those sessions. Uh, your video should be turned on so that we can see you. Uh, if you have a distraction or disruption or you need to get up to use the restroom or something, that's fine. You can put it off for a little bit. But for the most part, we want to be able to see your faces and we're going to let you see us. Uh, you do have to wear school appropriate clothing. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but please, you know, get out of your PJs, put on a T-shirt. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, and you actually will get a grade. So unlike everyone passing, like in the spring, you are going to get a grade this time. So make sure you do the work. And it depends on how much quality and the amount of work that you do. A couple of class tips for high school in general. Uh, it's important to stay organized. With all this online work, sometimes kids forget about having a notebook or a binder or to-do list or keep an agenda or calendar, uh, but you do need to stay organized. It'll make your life a lot easier. Uh, we expect you to contact teachers. Always ask questions if you have them. Ask for help. If you need anything, let us know. Uh, since we don't get to see you in person, it's hard to know when you need something, uh, so feel free to contact us. There's lots of ways to do that. Uh, try to connect to other students in your class. Just because we're not in a classroom together, sitting together doesn't mean you can't reach out and make friends and meet new people. Um, and you can also form study groups or ask for help from them, uh, whatever you need to do with those students. And be sure to use RISE. There will be another section and video of telling you what RISE is and what it means at our school, but make sure you use it wisely. Uh, in terms of online learning, uh, make sure you don't get behind. The worst thing you can do is wait till the very end of the week and then not understand how to do an assignment at the last minute. Uh, try to be proactive. Try to get on top of things at the beginning. Uh, participate in class discussions. That helps the teacher know how much you understand and how much you know. It also gives you a voice so the teacher knows whether to go faster or slow down or if you're bored or if you need help. Uh, we want to hear from you. Don't let your phone distract you. When we're having live class time, maybe turn your phone on silent or turn it off or put it on airplane mode for a little bit so that you're not distracted by it. Uh, and try to find some place at your house or where you live that you can work you know, in a school-like setting. Maybe have an office area in your room or always use the couch in the living room or have a spot in the basement or you know, whatever it is, pick a spot where you can focus. All right, our final tips is about you, know, you as a person. Uh, we want you to be involved at our school. So we'd love it if you could join a club or a team or a sport. Uh, we have lots of kinds of student groups. Uh, we want you to be engaged in our school. We hope that you know we can see you in person soon, but some of these are still going on online. Uh, try to keep a regular schedule. You know, Don't stay up till 4 a.m. on the weekends and then have to get up early for school times. Uh, if you can you know, maintain a certain cycle of sleep and healthy eating and exercise, it'll make you feel a lot better. It's good for your mental health and your body. Uh, and it may be silly to say this, but try to limit screen time. Nobody really wants to sit in front of a computer for eight or 10 hours a day. You know, if you can't do some activities away from your device, put the phone down, go out for a walk, stretch, uh, do yoga, run, do anything away from your computer as much as you can. Uh, and then always be well, feel welcome to use the mindfulness room in our counseling office at our school. I know this is a weird, weird times we're going through. There's a lot of social unrest. Um, and with all this coronavirus stuff going on, there's a lot of factors out there that can affect you. And we want you to feel like you're safe and secure, and we want to help you in any way we can. So please feel free to ask for help at any time.